Hey, welcome to another Token Flippers video. We provide extensive profit analysis. Today we're going to talk about a new kid on the block named P Dragon. It recently launched on Binance Smart Chain and it already offers some staking and soon also a RPG game. Uh, I found it on BSC Scan. It was number 24 and still is. Uh, it has around 1600 transactions per 24 hours. Uh, showing that it already has some utility behind it. And I always look at BSC Scan for, uh, for new projects as every popular project starts, you know, in the ranking somewhere down. All right, so uh, B Dragon is about dragons. Of course, you might have already guessed that. Um, you can get dragons by uh, buying a blind box uh, the blind box is available every one or two weeks for a short period and uh, it costs 0 0.22 PMP but this price changes uh, often and it's also limited to 1684 boxes. So out of, the, out of these boxes you can get dragons, here you can see all the dragons that are available. Uh, dragons are, are common a few different rarities. You have uh, the sea level dragon. There are four types of these. Four types of B level dragons, four types of A level dragons, two types of S level dragons, and there actually also are two triple S dragons. Uh, and as you can see here, the weight uh, differs for the different types of dragons and the weight uh, is related to how much you can earn with it uh, with staking. So you can uh, you can get the dragons by uh, buying the blind box, but if you're too late for that, you can also get them through the player auction, which you can also find on the website. And uh, here you can see all the different types of dragons that are being auctioned. So you can basically just uh, bid on a dragon and hopefully it will be yours. Okay, so um, if you want to start staking, well after you've purchased your dragon of course, you can go to the mining section and at the mining section you'll see all these different slots. You can hold up to uh, 16 slots or 16 dragons uh, I believe uh, to stake and um, then uh, once you have staked them so you can easily add them to a slot then you can um, also upgrade the slot which means that it multiplies uh, whatever weight the dragon has by two four or eight very useful for if you have a very high level or very rare dragons and then your total weight gets summed up and shown here. And this number then um, uh, decides how much you get paid. So how much actually do you get paid? The most important question. Um, well, they have a formula on the website. Let's see if I can find it, mining tutorial. Yeah, right here. So they say the reward you can get every 20 blocks is your total weight divided by the total weight times total mining pool rewards times mining speed. So yeah, it's quite complicated as you don't know many of these statistics, but luckily I've already done the research so you don't have to. Uh, well, if uh, in exchange you can subscribe to this channel, of course. So I'll give you a moment uh, to do that right now. All right, so let's go to the formula. Um, so your total weight is basically what's over here. So here's your total weight. Um, the total weight, what they mean by that is the total weight of everybody. So the entire pool, which is displayed here. Um, then you have the 
total mining pool rewards. Those are shown over here, which is in BNB. And uh, lastly, you have the mining speed, which is this number. Not sure how they come up with that number, but that was the number. And if you would calculate this for a weight of 100, it would equal to 0 0.000015 BNB. And uh, for your information, that is the reward per block, which is one minute on average. So that means you would earn $0.005 per minute and $50 per week. Then how much does it cost to get 100 staking weight? Well, that will probably be around uh, 3.85 BNB. And it will uh, give you a reward of 0 0.64 BNB uh, per month. So the API is 273%. Uh, how did I come up with this number? Well, if you go to the auction, uh, and there you'll have to uh, specify which dragon you want to buy. Of course you can buy an S or an SSS level dragon, but those are very expensive. So if you, let's say we get to the cheapest S level, it costs 7 BNB and it makes you, or it, it gives you a weight of 50. So you would need two of those to get the 100, which is 14 BNB, that's a lot. And if you would go for the sea level dragon, there you see that the prices are a lot less, so they are 0 0.06 BNB. Their weight is two. So for, for those, you'll need 50. 50 times 0 0.06 is three BNB, so a lot less than compared to getting the more rare ones. All right, so it's not a lot of profit, but it is a decent amount. And of course you have to keep in mind that in uh, two days they will release the RPG part of the game. And uh, there will probably be a lot more people who will start playing this game in, in the next weeks. And um, that could obviously increase the price of NFTs and also of, uh, of the staking pool. So you'll earn much more and your holdings could also increase in value. So very interesting. Uh, they also showed us a little bit about uh, the game itself, what we can expect. And uh, let's go over it uh, very uh, quickly. So this is the UI. You are some sort of character that has a level and you can actually equip your dragons. So uh, there is some skill tree involved here, used for battles. There are some classes involved. Uh, there's materials that you can collect or buy, which you can use for, uh, for crafting. There's an in-game market. Ah, oh, yeah, it seems you can fight maybe once per day to get some rewards. And here you can see the, um, the instances or the dungeons that they will introduce. So all in all, really interesting game. And I'm really looking forward to uh, especially the RPG part. Uh, so uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this game in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in more profit analysis like this one, please consider subscribing, uh, go to our website tokenflippers.com and join the conversation on Telegram.